second time I've been to this course. Played Old McDonald two years ago. It's very, very windy today, so it's gonna be interesting. And this new course is right along the ocean, a lot of exposed tee shots. It's gonna be challenging, you gotta keep it below the wind. Hoping to shoot anything under 90 today and I'll be happy. This place is amazing. I think they have five full-size golf courses, plus uh, this giant practice area. They have the punch bowl. Uh, they have a little par three course on the back of this driving range that's free when they're not using it as a driving range. We did that the first day we were up here. That was pretty fun. Hopefully play good. All I want to do is play decent. If I play bad, I'll still have fun. I'll take you along. Hole one at Sheep Ranch is a pretty straightforward par five, little downhill and towards the ocean. The tee shot just ends up on the right side of the fairway here. I'm just trying to lay up with a six iron to give myself a decent distance in for my third shot. I'm hitting an eight iron here with my third shot. And this is one of the best shots I've hit in a long time. I come within two inches of holding out for Eagle. In fact, the caddy who's down a little bit further there on the left said he thinks it caught just a little piece of the edge because it ended up on the back side. So I start my round off with a tap in for birdie. Can't start much better than that. Pete also had a chance for birdie here. And I really thought he was oh. going to come up just a little bit oh, short, but just yes. crept in for a birdie. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Two birdies, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't expect the rest of the round to go that way. And it didn't. Hole two here is a oh, hard yeah, dog leg nice. right. You cut the, the corner here, kind of hit a low bullet. Kind of worked out good. Rolled right into the middle of the fairway here. Second shot, I'm just hitting a wedge and trying to check it up on these greens. But they just don't check up. So rolled all the way out to here. Have this for a birdie putt. Get the speed pretty good. Leave it to within tap in range here for a par. So a good start. One under at this point through two. Hole three is a nice downhill par three towards the ocean. Tee shot here comes up a little bit short and to the right. A long way for birdie here. These greens are massive and they just are really rock hard and roll for days. So I have this to save the par, and unfortunately this would be the theme of my day, the three putt. Tee shot here on number four, I kind of get it up in the wind a little bit, it just keeps working right, but ends up catching a piece of the fairway. This would be the first of many bad shots on this day, it's never good when you have to yell four right. Second shot actually ended up on the tee box of this other hole in this fescue, just trying to chip it back onto the green and get it back in play. Again, it shows the speed of these greens that just continue to roll off. End up putting from just off the putting surface there. End up making another three putt for a double bogey here. Tee shot here on number five was not a great shot. End up coming quite a bit short and to the right of the green here. From here I'm just trying to hit this 54 degree wedge and kind of bounce it into the side of the hill here and let it roll up onto the green. But I got it just a little too far and again these greens just do not check and I cannot believe how much this thing just rolled out on me. This was an incredible putt by Pete and it also kind of shows you just how massive these greens are. This is where my third shot ended up, so I have this to save a par, putting it from just off the green here, which is always a good play at Bandon, but come up just a little short, tap in for a bogey. Tee shot here on number six is kind of scary considering my miss oh, yeah. is usually way right, but I actually hit a good tee shot, put it right into the middle of the fairway here. My second shot was starting to head towards the cliff there too, but did come up just short. This was the second consecutive day that I chipped it up with my 60 degree wedge and hit the flag stick and it didn't go in, so I was a little bummed. It ricocheted to about a foot. I had that to save par. Was able to convert. A little frustrated to not get the birdie. 
can't complain about the par. Hole seven's another beautiful par three with amazing views of the Oregon coast. Had another good tee shot here, but it just kept rolling past the flag. Have this long distance putt for a birdie. Come up well short. And again, like I said earlier, the theme of the day was the three putt. Tap in here for a bogey. Hard to be mad though with views like that. Absolutely gorgeous. End up hitting a terrible tee shot here on number eight. I think it only went about 100 yards, kind of topped it a little bit. From here, I'm just using a four iron and I have no idea really where the green is from here. I thought I hit a good shot, but I end up losing the ball in a gorse bush. So I have to take a penalty drop here, make a nice chip from here. Also had some camera issues here with a little bit of moisture on the lens, but it cleans up a little bit later. Had that to save a bogey. Was un unable to convert another tap in here for a double bogey. Able to shake off that last bad hole and made a decent drive right down the middle here on number nine. I think I have seven iron in hand here and hit a decent shot right to the middle of the green here. I didn't have a whole lot of looks at birdie on this day, but I had this one from about 20, 25 feet. End up making a decent putt, but just pushed it out to the right a little bit. Kind of rolled past about a foot, foot and a half. Had that left to save a par. Was able to convert. This was about the time of day when the winds really started to take effect. This ball started left and it just got in that wind and just continued to move right. <laughs> just couldn't believe it went that far. From here I just hit a seven iron over the trees trying to get myself into a good position. Chipped up from here. Had a decent look here at a par but Pete's trying to block you from seeing my terrible putting. Miss it. Tap in for a bogey. Hole 11 is another one of these tee shots that I got up into the wind and it just continued to go right. It was a miracle this one actually stayed in. This hole went from bad to worse real quick. Hit a three wood like a wedge straight up in the air back in the fairway. Hit the second three wood. Started out left went right. Was able to find it down on the cliff. Chipped up from there. Have this chip trying to get it up the hill onto the green. And it's one of the rare times that it actually didn't roll out. Left me miles away from the flag. I hit this thing as hard as I thought I could and still came up short. Ended up with a triple bogey. Followed that disaster on 11 with a great tee shot here on number 12. Ended up right in the middle of the fairway. But from there things just went bad. Ended up coming up short with my second. Ended up chipping long on my third. Ended up shanking one here on my fourth and rolled all the way to the front of these greens and they're huge chipped up from there here comes the ball rolling up on this hill here comes back just a little bit and i have this long putt to save a double bogey probably one of my best putts of the day just miss on the left edge tap in here for back-to-back -back triple bogeys nothing kills around like that can really see how hard the wind was howling at this point. Tee shot starts left and ends up right of the fairway here. From here I'm just trying to hit a four iron layup. This ball ends up working itself left or right. End up in a ditch here. Hitting an eight iron from there. End up getting it on the green, but I'm a long way. Got this putt down the hill for birdie. End up pushing it out to the left a little bit. Have this decent length putt to save a par. It was really terrible putt here. End up coming up short and to the left. Have this tap in here for a bogey. Hole 14 is a dog leg left. I tried to cut the corner here. End up hitting it just a little too left. Was able to find it in the fescue. But for some reason after this shot uh, I had some GoPro issues that wasn't recording from here on through the rest of the hole. They ended up making a bogey on hole 14 here. The winds were really ripping at this point. Tried to hit a low shot under the wind and end up pushing it out to the right. Second shot ends up going long and I had some more GoPro issues on this hole. Forgot to hit record but ended up making a double bogey on this hole. 
tee shot here on number 16. I took two extra clubs trying to account for the wind and still come up short. Hits off the hill and rolls to the left right here in the fescue. I'm just trying to chip up and let it roll up to the green. Thought I hit a good shot, but again, these greens are so fast it just rolled out. I think I had probably 20, 25 feet here to save par. Make a decent putt, good speed. Just come up just a little bit on the left hand side. I'm able to tap in here for a bogey. Look at the views, man. This hole is right on the coast. Tee shot here on 17 was a little scary. I started that thing over the cliff and it worked its way back into the middle of the fairway. From here, I'm trying to hit a little punch shot, end up punching it out to the right, come up short, make a decent chip here, just left of the flag, have a good look at par here. But I just burned the left edge. Little tap in, no look bogey. 18 is a short par 5. End up pushing my drive out to the right a little bit, but in the fairway. From here, I'm just trying to roll this thing up to the green with my 3 wood apparently. It hit a terrible shot. Comes up into one of these grass bunkers. There's no sand bunkers on this course. Chip up onto the green from there, and I actually have another look at birdie. I'm a long ways away, but end up coming a little bit short to the right. Have this for a par to shoot 91 and prevent another three putt on the day, and I'm able to convert. Thanks for watching. I'll end this video with some highlights from Pete and Larry on the day.